viewers, welcome back to another sumptuous episode of The Graduate Unscripted, where we take a dive, a journey, you know, a smooth ride into the campus experience of young and old graduates. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, please send us an email on the version on your screen and you might be the next person sitting on the stage beside me. My name is Just Quiddy. Please do not forget to like, to subscribe, to share, and to tell a friend to tell a friend. We're going on a quick break and we're back with meeting our guest for today. Welcome back, viewers. Welcome back. Today we'll bring you another amazing episode of Graduate Unscripted. And as always, our guest of the day is right here. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Mom. I really good to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is um, Esther Deliji. Okay. Well, a graduate of um, Ecopolism and Weather Management from the best University in Nigeria, favorite University of Technology. Okay. We're going to find out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out if it's the best. Yes. So how are you? What do you do for a living? Yeah, I work with um, the government, with the federal government, under the Ministry of Aviation. So we just do basically put a bit of air because yeah. it's eating. We have a very rich woman here. In one <laughs> woman speaking here. Yeah. When did you join the uh, Aviation? Yeah, I joined them 2019. 2019, yes. Please. So how are you working with them so far? Beautiful, of course. Do you have anything to say about the federal government um, against what people think outside? Well, um, the truth is that um, the government cannot be their own. Okay. And um, for each each um, government, you know, we have um, each each um, way that each president will carry out their activities. So the way A will love B will be different from the way B will love A. So I personally can't really speak about the government. Of course, I work with them. Yeah. So the only thing I just keep telling people is that just know that it favors you when you so that kind of things. So to be fine with you. So it's right. so the, the government's favoring Of course, yes. It's favoring you. I can see. I can see. It's showing your demeanor. It's really favoring you. So now tell us about your school because you're still proud of the school that yes, I'm eager so, to know. Yes, I am. That's why it's still. Yeah, Federal University of Technology Apere um, is a very, very powerful school. I call it powerful because the school actually shaped me. Mm. No matter the year of courses you study, we like study eyes and most technology in the last five years. Mm. Our hundred mm. level, from hundred level to five hundred level, you must find something new. Now, I'm um, hundred level, we are forced to do mechanical engineering, which you must do. Well, what did you study? Uh, I studied tourism and wildlife management. Was that what you wanted to study from? Actually, I wanted to study um, geology because um, I went to. Polytechnic of Ibadan. Yes, I studied geology there. So my thinking was that, oh, let me just move to uh, Futa and um, continue. But fortunately, in my job, I didn't do mathematics. If you went to a, if you're already in a polytechnic course, why didn't you just do a direct entry? Yes, yeah, so I'm supposed to do a direct entry. But my uh, result then, I was having a Lower um, credit, so which could not come. So, before we go to that, let's talk about this. Yeah, I have lower credit. Oh, okay, you mean the poly bad one? Yes, that's about Yeah, it's even the poly bad one. I never wanted to study the course, I wanted to study science, laboratory, technology. Again? Yeah. yeah, so that has just been three weeks. So, so who, chose, who chose the course that I mentioned to study? Was it uh, by circumstances? Was it jam? Or was it your parents? By circumstances. Do what you do. What circumstances, my sister. What does circumstances do to you? They said, my, I did not do English. You know, these jam people, they will tell you, you do not do English, you do not do much. What environment were you in? Yeah, yeah, science. Science. So, how come you didn't do English? No, not English, like maybe chemistry, mathematics. Okay. Yeah. During the other we should do thinking about that is biology, physics, and chemistry. Mm. So we omitted the mathematics then. So we're like, you know, I thought I thought maths and English was good, but like the like a standard mm. um, exam for every course, then every course to get into the university, then other sorry when it comes to jam, then other one or two courses, courses can now support it. Well, based on the courses I want to study, I'm not really sure because then during my general tutorial yesterday. We're too thick and bad. That's what they yeah, that's, that's, that's how they use it. So, yeah, thick and bad. So, then you can do any other answer. Like, so, physics, chemistry, biology, then you can pick anything. So, but then, like you like asked me the other time, so, first class, he just jumped me in geology. So, eventually, I found the course interesting. But I started loving the course in my OED level two. 
Okay, that's yeah, right. maybe to the first semester. So by then, my performance was very important in the first thing because it was not something I knew. Was it school or was it? It was just me. It was you. Why? Why? Because I'm okay. I have, I have this mindset of becoming a medical practitioner. So when I saw myself in geology, dealing with work, who made this good place then? So, when they saw you, when they saw the bad result that you brought them, what did they say? And I'm not trying well, they don't, of course, they won't beat me. They'll just be like, oh, go cooler, you can do better. I'm just ready for it. It seems like you're very supportive. No, they are, they are. In terms of all of encouragement, because they actually know that their child is actually intellectual, but maybe they even need to ask me, like, sure, sure, feel like they can get us again. And something is wrong. I'm really sure. But eventually, I just told them that even when I took the jump for food, that they were not aware. Oh, so you did that by I yourself? I did it by myself. I wanted to challenge myself that this is not me. That this is not my result. This is not the best I can offer. Um, the direct entry, and I just thought within me like it's my normal. So probably I should just pick up the jump for. So I've been saving up. And I so how was it like having to do jump again when you had already done? You know, like I feel like back then one of the frightening things for us is having to retake jump because the reading. And the process, everything all over again. How was it like for you? Actually, it wasn't easy, but you know, um, since I was just coming from one setting, which is an educational setting, so, so the brain is still very still sharp. hot and fresh. And besides, I just have to encourage myself because I just felt like you know, I was just getting to the university, getting, this university that people are clamoring, talking about. I was getting there. So when I now got my admission, like that's when I now told my dad that ah, I need school fees. <laughs> so they were just like. What happened? What happened today? I to just explain the bit to today, and that was how I just. Even if I was a friend, I wouldn't. I would not really mind. Consider that you already took the first step to take the jam, and then you got the admission. Then it means that she's serious with it. So I was cooling in um, choir, right? Choir for holy bad, holy bad. Sorry, I was cooling in the school ah. besides the besides the academy. How oh, was the school experience itself? It's actually nice because um you know holy bad is a kind of ah. Oh, it kind of don't just is like a rugged school, mm. and you know, it's a kind of a school that is a bit populated, you know, because of a lot of courses. On like Futa now, it's just a technology school, strictly science. Okay, during my time though, but um, Polybado is a main school, both commercial, art, science, and body. So, we are kind of populated from there, you know, you meet people, it was enjoyable, friends going out. Mm, uh, tell me about it. Um, <laughs> I'm a polybag, I won't lie, I really enjoyed myself. What was your most memorable fun moment in school? Ah, I won't lie, I played tennis. Tennis was your most memorable table tennis. That was that was the most fun, fun thing for you. Fun thing when you want to ah uh, like I'll we'll just go out and we'll just go to the tennis court, play after we finish playing, going out, maybe probably with friends, go and eat some, you yeah, know, of course, so those good. necessary things. And then we do use bottle to step down, she understands. Wait, wait, calm down, yeah. calm down. <laughs> Take when you used to use bottle. You don't know if you're green you, or black. You no, no, you don't understand. Just leave that aspect for no, me. I, I, I want to, you know, like, I want to know what kind of ego that you caught. You know, I you see giggle. I uh, don't worry, don't worry, my sister. Don't worry, my sister. Ah, let me worry <laughs> now. Come on, <laughs> let me worry. Oh, of course, no, then we're just catching fun now, though. My friends were just normal chilling out. So, so you had fun in school. Did you no, go to no, parties? I, I won't like yes, I did. Did like, you go to club? Very well. Just once. Just once. Once. And I went there sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go to club and be sleeping? Because it was not my type. It was oh. not my team. So I was just copying my friends back then. So probably but I was even like one of the school I knew that ah, what is enjoyment? I just enjoyed those few two years I spent there. So do you think that the, there was more enjoyment than the academic level or there was it was a balancing between fun and academic? Actually it was a balancing fun. It was a balancing fun because it gave room for social, it gave room for academic. For academic. Even it gave room for relationship mm. in terms of meeting people. Because during those period I remember I met one allergy, strictly rich, like <laughs> just then, uh, you know, he has a mining site because my course has to do with mining. Yeah, so we went to a mining yeah. site, and you know, we met a lot of people, of which some people we are still in touch today in terms of connection and meeting. And um, some people, of course, you know, like this cost table. Yeah, but yes, it's yeah. actually. Are you still in talk time with the allergy? Uh, no, uh, no, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You know, you know, all these are our, our men, some men. Especially when you are the opposite sex, and then 
of course, we really want to go, but you have to do some exchange, you know, then mm. you understand. That I, I, I feel you, I get you, I so, get you. And I look at him and say, No, this can't be it. Uh, no, but can't. it took some changes. So small. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if you took change. <laughs> hey, see the lie. This is coro coro lie. <laughs> you don't know if you took change. I did not take any change actually. You didn't take change. I did not take much change. No, actually, I did not. The only change I can just like he gave me was the transport fare. That coming around. Okay. Yeah, it's just transport fare because then I, as much as I'm this social person, I must wait this minute and I set standard and I have a limit to everything I do. Like this, but I still don't want to do it. I'm a principal person, I won't do it. So I don't want to know on what basis that thing. So then, of course, and I love making new friends. Okay, Old, so young, yeah. beautiful, ugly. So it was more like you were exploring a part of you. Exactly. So that was just did you did you meet anybody that you liked in school? Did you fall in love in Bantoli? Yes, I did. I did. But eventually we know what that was. What what level was that? That was my final year. That was the editor. The editor. And what happened? I'm a sucker for love, so I don't know what uh, Life. What, what? Do you leave life alone? Life, you just sit down. Are you people be saying life? Well, how did life happen? Mm. Are you life? Is life for you? What did you do to life for life to not come and knock on your door? It's complicated, my sister. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that aspect is um, actually complicated because when it comes to love matter, if I should give you my own part of the story, it might look untrue if he should bring his own part. So it's until when you both have both of us and see it, he speak, I speak, that's when you be able to judge. So that you just tell you now, you just let me that my just be having some lies. So you're having some salt and pepper she gets. So, so you don't want to say wait, is you that is it that is it that that be real or you don't want to I did not. I'm sure I'm sincere I did not. Okay, so what was what was what was a bad school experience for you in Polyvada? Huh? The bad school experience I have been why? Um, actually, no. I'm trying to think if I do it. No. No. Mm-hmm. You didn't really experience anything. There wasn't cultism, there wasn't bad friends oh. or anybody in school that was like. Okay, oh, okay, that cultism aspect. Yeah, the bad experience. Thank you. I think with that example you gave, the one actually um, experience is the aspect of the lecturer. Mm. You know, then I was a bit plumpy. I, I remember right. my. We were plumbing. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> so my actually in the one second semester, there's this particular lecturer. I don't know. It's just a womanizer. Mm. So one day I wanted to check my results in his office, and before they know, my friends have already given the like, give so this man, kind of lecturer that he is. This man a bad man, all this kind of stuff. So eventually I went there. I wanted to check my results. He told me I had a uh, sixty nine B. That if I can do normal with him. What, six, 69 B, isn't that a good score? Is it 69 or 59? I think it should be 59. So I think I think F um F is supposed to start from like 39. Yes, 39. 39. So when you had 59, that's like a C. Yes, like a C. So what so I it's have, a three unit course. Okay. So I, I, I must have like a A or a B oh. in order to work my C G P. So you introduce your G P. Yes, exactly. So the man actually I went to, I, I guess it's 59, I I can remember the so when I went to meet, he told me that if I, of course, do normal now, add 10 to your score, so you have 69. So I remember, yes, it was actually 59. So I was like, I should just do normal. I'm going to have 69. I told him I can't do that. Normal, normal in what aspect? Of course, you know, say, sexual harassment. So the man, now, I don't know. Of course, it's, we can't tell me it was a mistake. He dropped his pen on the ground and asked you to, and pick, asked it to pick it before picking it up he has grabbed me how do you i'm telling you the truth from behind and i just looked at him like sir are you okay sir mm-hmm. and the man was like oh no sorry oh thank you for the pain i just left and i promised myself i'm not going back to that place again then when the result came out eventually i had a 69. my initial my main score was 69. so you only lied to me so I agree. How, how did that make you feel to know that it lied to you and Maybe if if you were scared, if you were so scared not to like to get a good grade, you could have fallen into his trap. How did that make you feel? Actually, I actually felt bad because ever since then, I was avoiding him on the campus. In fact, when you see his car pass, I'll turn him back. Like I just dislike him. I don't want to use the word hated. But you, you, you didn't think I probably just felt like okay, this guy is not a street girl. Probably I should just give her. 
Like no, that. no, no, he did not. Because that was what I actually worked for. Because I read, I don't really like physics. So when it comes to anything physics, I put my extra effort. To make sure that you don't have any issues. Anything, because I know I don't like the cost no money. So I have to read that. So I know what I did. So when the man put me 15, I was shocked at first. Like, what? I said, okay. And it's a three-unit course. And I know, you know, I told you earlier that I was struggling with my results from the first semester. Yes, so, so. so having, having a kind of C or a D or a E in a three-unit course can pull down the GP and likewise the CGP. I just felt like, hmm, no. Did you report him to anybody in school? I did not. Why? I don't have money. There are lots of things I don't have a lot of money. I might just be for me, I'm I'm strong, get, I'm get, 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 get. But yeah. you know, there are lots of things you just really need to be careful about. And as of then, for the was a bit, like I said, during my time, rough. Yeah. I've seen some set of people that came to come and meet me, girls, but they were like, hey, bro, do you know? no. They were like, I should come and join them. I say, hey, and me, I don't know. I just, new bees in school now. Just putting on red. I just look. That's why I stopped putting on red. You know? mm. Psychologically, I did not. Because those ladies that came to me, so me coming, so I just have to just change my. So that's mm-hmm. that's so it was the female courtist that mm. approached you. Did you, have, did you have any encounter with the male courtist trying to court you or something? No, the, ah. mm-hmm. <laughs> the one I have is not actually myself directly, it's okay. just to a friend. So a friend of mine was actually dating the car guy. Those okay. yellow guys or yellow. I don't know their name, but yes, I get the idea. So I don't know. But the lady eventually they went we went to a part, I followed them. Yeah. And the journey was actually yeah, funny that day. It was what too happened? they had the clash. Yes, and I was inside one of the bus. Hey. And they were shooting sporadically. I faced the bus. They were shooting. Like the other the other a court group was shooting at the one that we were you were in the car exactly so and i only followed the friend hey hmm. stop following friends stop following friends so a lot so only but actually taught me a lot of lesson such that when i got to my new school, school i stopped a lot then the last one they did was i'm doing a birthday party in my compound so they gave us a palm one I don't know this thing, maybe we know it's Gigemo. Yeah, okay, I've heard that. So they dropped the Gigemo inside the palm wine. So I mean, now my daughter, I thought it's palm wine and I drank. Mm. The only thing I know is that the world was screaming. The world was just screaming. Your, 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 was, eyes, your eyes were turning on your own. As in, I was just looking for location. The ground was up, the floor oh, the the up was, floor was down. down. Everything was just turning and I just felt like, no, this is not a good life. Like, so what happened in that, in that setting? Did they do anything to No, you? they did not because it was actually my compound. So I managed, but the only thing I realized was I realized someone was coming behind me because it's looking like us, like you know, when this kind of multitude of us are running. Okay, so I just noticed that I was also like you running also I just slammed the door because I was, I was really close to, to your the room. door. I can actually see, but I was still feeling tipsy somehow. Um, so maybe I just went inside, I locked up the door, and it was even the next day, I started just training up. And those guys, I have to go and meet them, not normal neighbors now. I want you guys put inside this thing and they, were, they just they started laughing. She gave they form strong girl, you know, strong. I would not read this thing, but why they, they lied that overnight? Somebody just came and told me, I'm like, they took something inside. So right. that was one of the main reasons why I said anything that has to do with alcohol, drink. So right now you don't drink? I don't. Did yeah. you, um, did, um, Polybado, did, does it have um, an hostel or did you stay outside of school? I stayed in the hostel in the first year, then I stayed outside the hostel in the second year. What was your hostel experience like? Yeah, well, just the you know me. I like all these Aluka. Very, everybody must know that I'm there. They are there. Yes. Any hardship staying in the hostel? No, I will even give. I'll be able to give them the hardship. Like <laughs> <laughs> this is my little one thing. I'll be able to give them the hardship because I was very. I know myself back then. I was stubborn, but thank God for God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> So was there water issue? No, not at all. Any any dangbana neighbor? Of course we have. Now that was when they do scales that all these um, of course you have foolish neighbor now, that they always want to piss you off. So mm-hmm. the best thing is just stay off and so the second year you stayed outside school. Yeah. So what what would you if you had to choose between staying in the hostel and staying outside school, which would you which would you prefer? Well, if I want to advise people out there, I'll tell them to stay in the hostel. Why? The reason is because um in terms of academic uh, Pursuit. Hostel is the best reason is because you'll be able to focus more. It was when I was staying outside hostel 
I was having a lot of liberty. Mm. Like in the hostel, now there's a time bound for you to enter the school hostel. Okay. Ends of time, maybe like 10 pm, they'll close the gate. Or like when I'm staying off campus, two of them might still be outside. She understand nobody's going to caution you. Why are you coming in? Why are you? Well, there's some people that don't like being caged, like mm-hmm. that. Like, so if you if you stay out to that time, where do you now get to sleep? No, I'm just saying, like my son, I don't work at night. Oh, okay. Yeah, most time, maybe when I do, maybe the only time I can work at night is probably maybe having a kind of church program back then. I would just move, you know, maybe twos or threes when I want to move. So I don't like working at night. So you prefer that they stay in the hostel to yes, for me, them. right? Yes, I yes, please. Okay. So did you? Is there anything that you regret not doing while after you left Polyvagon? I do not regret because I explored everything. You explored everything. You were everywhere. You were everywhere at that. Walking no more. <laughs> <laughs> so three things that you remember really about the school that and that still means a lot to you. That you know, whatever you remember, it just makes you feel like back in pretty well. Okay, the three things is number one, the experience in the department does our going out because we just we have a kind of a lot of outing due to the course, due to a mining site, a working mm-hmm. area. So we have more of So geography is that interesting? Yeah, geology is interesting. Geology, rather, sorry. Yes, please. It's interesting because you have to go to all this mountainous area. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to you'll be climb mountains. So mm-hmm. you'll be able to identify rocks. you go to a mining site. There was a particular place they were like, you can't step there. Because mm-hmm. once you step there, you will sink. Yeah. Yes. It's a... I don't, I don't know if I've got to call it today. It's also in... Yeah, it's in Quara, Oro, precisely. Oh, okay. So that, that place, there is gold there, but people don't really know. It's a mining site there. You didn't hear it from us that there is gold in Quara? Yes, there is. In Quara. There is gold? Yes, there is. <laughs> actually, actually there is there is i like you've seen this gold before yeah the one we saw actually that the man uh, brought to us was uh, actually a diamond mm-hmm. but it was in the raw state oh so they, they were not showing us how it can be transformed so it. because if, even though if you see a gold you will know it's a gold actually. you will know you won't because it's so it looks like a mold mm-hmm. very dirty so you beat it into sheet before you can know that this is a real gold so most people have even seen assets like a gold and they've they shown it away. Know. That they don't even know that they've shown it away. That's why no, they say that no, at times just power. Exactly. And at times all this um, something that is um how am I going to put it that is valuable. At times it might come in a kind of dirty state that you might just that you just say don't discard. There are sometimes just appreciate because something value something value might be in there. In there. Okay, so that's number one. So you see, number two is just the power of um relationship. You know, anything I just remember my friends, like some of them will still keep up. Okay. So anytime we go, I'll just smile like, ah, my school, oh, these girls, now these girls won't go back with this year, this year, <laughs> this year, this year. And the rest will smile. Then thirdly, well, it's just the aspect of the sport. Like I said earlier, yeah. you know, I remember one of my lecturers is bats. I took it to focus and I didn't return. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, return my bat to me. That's we call it racket anyway. Okay. We call it, I said, so I can't take this one because I just love doing, just doing sports. Do you still play tennis? Yeah. No. no and yes. If I sh- why I said no is I don't do it again. But if I should see opportunity, even right to this to do this, put it in. I'll just leave this interview and come back. And it. <laughs> so that's just, I just have a um, love for it. Okay. So um, what was your experience like? Going to um, Polibado and your self acclaimed best school that you finished from. Uh, of course, uh, you can't compare. Uh, <laughs> Polibado, you know, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> but you can't compare Futa to Polibado in terms of um, the technology wise. You know, Futa actually groomed me to beyond Futa. When I got to Futa, it was no more of an um, academic pursuit. So all this fun life, social life, everything I was everything just ended in Polybado. So FUTA is a kind of school that you have to just double your pace because all the lecturers they they are lecturers that they just they are just perfectionists. They will tell you is either A that you cannot A is for them, mm-hmm. B is for their wife, C is for their family, then D is for the students. Uh-huh. So you just be the one to that in lecturers, that's all of their saying. Yes. Yeah, so, so is that supposed to scare you? Or how do, if you, the first time you heard that, how did he make you feel? Like telling you that all of these good grades though are not for you. No, he's just telling us that you just really need for you to just attain that thing you must buckle up. 
Mm. You must both up to be able to, and that was just, it was just a challenge for me. Tell most students that for them to work up. So some people will be like, no, no, sorry. For me, I see it as a challenge. Like, whether it's for your family or for you, I will get it. it. So it has, it's actually, it was not really easy. Then. No social, I can really practically say no social life for me. So it was okay. just, they, I just had a kind of triangle lifestyle there. Church, hostel, classroom. Mm-hmm. Lecture room. So you didn't you didn't go to church or you were not really a church girl in Ibadan? I was, but you know, then not really like very, very well like that. And the church activities there then was not as much as that of Fuka. Mm-hmm. So what what drank what, what moved you into the church setting in Fuka? And just the normal going to church. So you know, Fuka during my own time because now it has actually changed. During my time, Fuka is a kind of school that was just more of the male than the female in terms of um, percentage. We'll be having like maybe 70, 30, oh. 70 male, 30 female. So in a class of maybe 100, you can see like maybe 80 guys, then 20 females. So did the female at any point felt um, outnumbered? No, 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 at all. We don't. Everybody's coming for their life. So nobody's even looking at you at, at that distance. So during my time, it was very, very rare. So what I'm using my time is because now, I started introducing other commercial courses like anatomy, physiology. Uh, how do you know? Do you still go to school? No, I still get information from there. From because there. now I'm just like an alumni. So That's we true. get information, we uh, get some things about the school. So the school is not being, they are not introducing some other outside That's science this. course now. So it's not making us and the school to have more of the female, the okay. feminine partner than the masculine and the rest. Did you was there, did you have carryover? Did you ask if you had carryover in um Kulibadon? Yeah. Actually, I did not. You did not have carryover at all. And in total, I did not. Did you not? Because yeah. you were you were still determined to make sure that nothing I was wrong. Not. The only one I would have actually had was on CSC one or two. Mm-hmm. So we did on um, Fortran. So I, I've actually run my program. I never knew that the program has already run. Yeah. Because I don't know computer, this thing now. Oh. Because that I said, Futa will shape you. It's the most you learn it. You know, it's a technology school, so they just want us to be technologically inclined. Fine, yeah. So whether you study nose and teeth, you must mm-hmm. do one computer course. Cost. So eventually, the man just came closer to me. And he just saw that, you know, what have I done? I said, the thing, that, that, that would be the saddest moment of my life. But I went wow. home crying like, I've done it, I don't know the things that and the man and that's our test for me to be grade you know. Like if the grade you instantly as you Insta- instantly, instantly. So eventually I was unable to I was unable to get this thing. So I have to go and start prayer and fasting. Mm-hmm. So then the result now came out eventually I had uh, fifty. Fifteen in test. Like fifty C. Fifty. Okay. Yes, because the exam. So when, even when the exam came, so I don't even know what really happened. And that would be the first time the exam when I was I want to talk to them, please help me, teach me, teach me. Because I'm always know. putting my seat in front of lecturer. Hey, hey, they are my way, they don't do a region, they don't want to be, uh, you must be one of those people that you don't, you're, you're always covering your book like this. Actually, I don't cover, but if you call me, I won't answer. Why? Because I, I don't like the short thing. We, 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 we rise by eating others now, why? Yeah. The, the truth is that, you know, at that moment when you're in the exam, or all what is in my home brain, I'm talking personally, it's just time. Okay, because I am just all well, I'm just thinking is time, 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 time. Because the moment I'll be using to speak with you, my time own time is already going. Are you like the cram la or the ah, way to I'm, understand? I'm, I'm the cram la oh. the way to everything. I see why you don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> so, case, in case I go and forget, this is that is is a matter. Uh, in my case, we read we read as a group. I don't know if you experience this. Like read as a group. Okay, so if you're reading for an exam now, or we're using a a what's it called an adult to read. Or a, a, a past question. I will probably read like A and B. Somebody else will read like C and D. And that makes it really like A and F. And then we know that our sitting arrangement, you know, you use your matric number to mm-hmm. enter, is in the same line. So we enter together. When it, when it eventually brings C and D that no, no, you know automatically the person that will supply that you know that you're supposed to let it go around, like so that. And you to go out. for me it was it was easier because we used to go into the exam as a group. Uh, no. I was never in one man before. Although I did read, I read like convenient. I read so that I don't have to ask you. 
But sometimes you just forget because of the pressure that the lecturers are putting upon you mm. while they're walking around. So you don't have any good like that. No, school. I don't. I actually read with some people, but in time when we get to the exam, we all get everybody sick at your own. Is it position. is it like straight or you and your family member, you and your you and your Ori? No, you and your Ori. No. There's 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 like much space in the ah the way they do space us in that school. school. Maybe you want to write I E L A B I E L T S exam. <laughs> like one person here, another person can be at the other is training. Yeah. Like that. So was there was there any all in your school that if you know if you write exam things or you know that the chances of failing that exam yeah. is like zero to five. Yeah. Hmm. If I did check the um is it bench or like call it now? It's very very long. So it's like a step. I I I so before you even stretch look, down yeah. to the hmm. your neck it's really full of so they can put one person at the extreme and it's a very long chair. chair. So it would I call it chair even bench, all those long bench. So one person can be at the extreme, they'll put one person in the middle. Hundred percent at the last end. So you are the next high table. Before the man even those person in the middle, they might not put you in the middle again. Not put you at the back of her. All right. Um, football is a discipline school, so you just have to and you have to just comport yourself. You just have to read because they are ready to pay you. It's like their gift. Mm-hmm. If you do not read, they give it to you back. So it's not a school that you can like fully but then you can still meet some few people and they can help. But in football, what do you want to do on it? Because all those lecturers, they are, they are very strict. Even with their look, they might be nice actually, but me, I've not tried meeting many of them anymore. Anyway. So no lecturer gave you a time back in school? At all. And you're not close to any lecturer at all. You make sure that you stay the way you don't want to have the same experience that you had in the bathroom. Exactly. Exactly. So the best thing is read. So that you know you read. And hmm. not start begging. Hmm. So what's your most fun memory when you met in football? Hmm. What was rather? Again. In place it was like football. Yeah, I represented the school for games, oh. for Noga games. So we went to OAU for competition. Mm-hmm. Of course, they went with the team. The male won. So I'm the only female that went. So I'm the only, I'm the only female. I missed how many? Like seven guys. Seven guys. So that you won. I was unable to play my mixed doubles. Uh, so, but we just catch from. But I actually played. And I think I lost an angle. Not from the first day, the food is beating. <laughs> like those ladies were literally good. It was different so schools and this thing. So I actually enjoyed sports every Saturday. I'm, all, I'm always eating the gym, doing sport. Like I just love sports. That was just the only thing I can really, really enjoy in Africa. And what was, what was like the bad memory that you had? I think the bad memory I had was just that aspect of the. CSC, was in the capital that aspect result. that that was a really bad experience that I had. Then one particular one to any mechanical and that was that one too. I'm not really good at drawing. I don't like drawing. Mm. So they tell us to draw octagon, measuring this and this and this. So me, it's not busy the measurement. I'll just use my hand to sketch it and draw. So it won't give me the shape. I'm just letters are ready to measure. So unfortunately, I didn't do a boat. I have met a guy mm-hmm. because the test I know I forgot fully. So during the exam, I now met one of the guy in that department who taught me. So he put me through. Eventually, I had to see in the course. So that was just the. So in the case where there were like seventy or eighty percent of guys and twenty percent of you girls, was there anybody or any guy that you like liked among the school and there's somebody else liked as well? Uh, actually, no. The reason is because you know. This pony battle gave me a kind of experience that, you know, it has shaken me in terms of relationship. You know, I said earlier, in terms of academic pursuits, I know my first relationship, like in pony battle, they were asking what happened. So I just have the mindset that. Was that, your, was that like your overall, overall first relationship or it was just your school first relationship? My school first relationship. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, ah, I'm not going to this footer, no good. Were any relationship before you got admission or not? I'm not good. Well, mm. why? I don't have time. You know that mindset, like, eh, eh. not not from put out, like even back in the battle. Okay, no, I was not. I was not. You know this mommy's girl. Mm. But that was not your first relationship, now, so. Eh, those other ones we call a relationship. All this. Maybe on my date. 
You can't really just call those ones relationship anyway. So due to your lessons or experience back in Colibad, you, so didn't, exactly. you didn't get to mingle with friends, you didn't have any, any friend in, in Futa? No, I actually, it's not so I don't have friends. I don't keep female friends. I barely work with male friends. Mm-hmm. The only male friends I can barely say that I work with is those guys in the sports. We are both in the sports arena or sports group. Then the guy that taught me uh, mechanical engineering, which eventually is my husband to do. Oh, and, that's um, so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you well, know you not see anybody in school. <laughs> was it after school that you guys connected or was it in school? Yeah, in school, that's on the level. So we're just together. <laughs> I just, you guys, you can be my witness. I just asked that now. Did you, did you meet anybody? She said, no. You know, I had my experience, but then you had somebody. Well, Sunday level, Sunday level, we were together. So something just happened. The group of us just separated. And in um, school? Yeah, in school. So you guys were dating and then you broke up? Yes, and it was just a year senior. It was in, it was in 100, it was in 200. So everyone just went to the individual way. So we just got connected probably five years after. Five yeah. years after you left school. Mm-hmm. So what broke you up in school? To now recollect. Well, I think one of the challenges I was having back then with me was like, ah, too much guys around you. But so there was one day I remember one of his friends went to me and gave me this information. You know, there's no how they are training you as a lady in Pelicanese. A guy have to stay behind you. Okay. And we always embrace our short spring skates and on our this snake with a racket. So I don't know when to give him information that like, ah, I'm dating that particular guy. That they should come and see. You. Yes, I should, come and, I should come and see the way they normally touch me in the courtroom. Yeah, like he came to an after. He came that day, never even ask. Then, before that time, I think the other we were just having issues based on the fact that I always work with Ken. And I told him that this is what I love doing. And I spoke. And I mean, I love defining anything I want to do. And I made it this so. So, this, this is this, this is, is why they work out with you. This is what we're doing. This so, we don't, we don't step boundaries. Exactly. So, eventually, it was not after, after. When he was maybe he was not satisfied with the excuses, and me, I don't even have time to start begging them. Mm. You know, too much because what that was even on my head was let me just do well, let me just explore. I'm doing my time in school, I was a big time entrepreneur as well, too. So, I was just going selling. Uh, I can sell anything, it's only woman being I cannot sell. Yeah, just tell me anything. <laughs> I can sell anything, it's only woman being in Kuka. Yeah, my 100 level, I worked with all. Um, a particular woman, which is a um, caterer, okay. so we do go out for catering services. Um, my twenty level, there was this particular river sticks that just came out. Mm. I will go as far back as if I did to carry it in cartons, like to be selling in photo. My three hundred level, this bead, and that will be customizing one's name, like they will yes, put, they put your name in there. I I started doing that in my three hundred level, and the rest. My phone went there, I stood on my own to start doing the skate train work. And the first job I got there was on this Agape, which was at the gym of the youth chapel. Okay. So I cooked for the youth. That would be the first time anyway. So it went there and I have a lot of food SSCs, you know, school, a lot of the main ingredients, we took it back to school. And you know, so from my phone went level to my 500 level, I was doing more snacks, pastries, puffball, meat pie. So, but when I came back from IT, when I found the level, I just went full to pastries. So, um, likewise, I was in my all, as I stayed in the hostel all through, I was the director of sports in the Korean level mm. for my hostel. So, for your hostel, not for like the department? Not for the department, my hostel. Then, in my faculty, so I just made sure that I'm just involved in one politics of it. Because I love. You <laughs> didn't think to contest for. Uh, SGG post or something. Actually, I wanted to, but I just look like, how do I want to kill myself? I'm already in sports. I'm already doing business in church too. And I was very, very active in church. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I was just like, how, 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 was, how was it for you managing school, work, church, you know, sports, and everything all together? You know, if I can balance my life in Polybaro, it really helped me. Okay. Yes, I learned balance and even up to now, it's really, it's really helping me to um, I know how to balance things. I think that's one thing I know about myself. I know how to set time. Well, anyway, with the help of God, anyway. 
So I know the time to rest, I know the time to sleep. Like me now, I'm not this Joanna, that is the reading of the day. I read mostly at night, I'm nocturnal. So I read at the middle of the night. So during the day, you can see me very, very active. So I can sleep during the day. So once it's around maybe 12, 1, 2, I'm awake. I've started doing the academic part. Or if I cannot sleep, maybe that 12, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 a.m., I'm awake to read. But the maximum time I can read is till 8. So during the day, I use it to do every other activities. Sports, okay. selling. So I just know how to balance. Manage your time well. So exactly. which, which of the school experience would you love to relieve the most between Ibadan and Kota? <laughs> of course, um, Ibadan is actually one of the places I know I really enjoyed the world called life. Okay. Yes, but um, Futa is the place where I will say that also helped me in my spiritual life. So both of them really have a kind of good. So, so Futa helped you spiritually. I don't want to, I don't know what you use, <laughs> what word you use to, to cultivate your experience in Ibadan. Ibadan but which one is it? So if you had to show so economically, one, yes. So if you had to pick one, if you had the choice to relieve one of the experiences, which one would you choose? I would choose for them. You choose for that. Why? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you couldn't express it, that you couldn't go out much or meet yes, people. It's, I just really discovered that the life I was living back there was in my life. Mm. So when I got to Kota, I now discover my real me, the potential I have in me, how what I could not explore, that I thought I was exploring. I was exploring someone else's life in Kota, I was actually just copying friends. But when I was in uh, Futa, I'm sorry, that was Kulibadon. Kulibadon. So when I was in Futa, Futa brought that technology. Our motto is technology for self-reliance. He brought that self-reliance. That, so that, that, that you, that you know, that was yes, there. Yes, you know, there are a lot of things I saw myself doing that, like decoration now. I just saw myself doing it naturally. Okay. So, then, so, so that thing that you felt like you were missing in Ibadan, you found it in? Yes, in and I not just have the social part, like maybe all this party and everything, but we, we actually exchange party for church. Mm-hmm. So did you ever miss going, not going to parties? I did not, that? because the day I left Holy Bado, I made the promise to myself that the life I live here, I will leave it no more. That I would rather become a new fashion of me, like my real me, because I was so much influenced back there, I'm not really like in Holy Bado. So I just wanted to live like my normal life, not someone else controlling me. So that was following another footstep. Exactly. So my um, footer, it's a kind of experience that it's just about me, what I love doing, how I love to do my things. Not that somebody will tell you, let's do this. So it's not that people can't give me advice, of course, but it's limited. She mm-hmm. understand. So I will be doing. I'm the driver of your own myself. Own car. Yeah. So own car. I can um, say, okay, this is the time I want to sleep. Oh, this is what I want to do. And eventually it really pay off because I was even given like two awards. Two awards in yeah. Puta. Yeah, what awards were those orders? They gave me the director of sport and I think the best sport for my everything is to be sports. And now you don't even do sport again. I actually just do like I said physically, like maybe in church if they think they like So you. what took sport out of you? Why why didn't you think that you felt like you had passion for sports? Why didn't you continue? Yes, I did, but what actually made me stop loving this tennis in terms of sports was that I went to this stadium. At Ondo State, and those guys, you know, they're a lady, and you are backside, and you are, and you, you know, and you are, even they don't have backside, you are shy woman, and the rest, they always want to discover. So the discovery was more then. I wanted to yeah. go to the stadium, even to okay. register okay. to like three or four of them. I was not like this guy, plan cool, like, mm. what are they trying to do? So I just said, I won't be going there again. So since then, no one to train me. That's how you just interrupted. I just took off my... So how has your school experience impacted your life after school? Oh, actually it has greatly, most especially um, in terms of... um, Because I have this gift of um, counseling people. Mm -hmm. uh, (laughs) (laughs) So I have this gift of um, meeting a lot of people. So assuming school has been a scam, like people do say, in terms of... I know I might not be eloquent or good speaking, like all these our Queen's English people. Okay. But in terms of the knowledge, except if I only want to pretend as I don't know some certain things. So when it comes to technological, maybe the computer wise, has impacted me like 
even though I might not be in that field, but I have a lot of knowledge about it. It has also helped me to know how to do the writing. You know, like yesterday, I fixed Bob, mm. like my so when my husband came back yesterday, I was like, ah, ah. Well done, madam. You're yeah, working, uh-uh. woman. Yeah, trying. <laughs> I, I just studied technology for self reliance. Uh-uh, I'm not, it was just like now, so <laughs> and the rest. So, you know, it has really just made me see that you can do anything if only you can put your mind to it. And um, it has really helped me also in even my um, career as well, too. You know, making me to pursue more in terms of not sitting down with you know, looking for other opportunities in terms of career progression. Mm-hmm. So it's not that people are working in this place will not sit down. So that's really also up broadening my horizon to be able to do more, to learn more, to know more and not to be static. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. That's so so very good. So all in all, both in both schools because it's obvious I had different experience. Exactly. But yes. so if you have to find them into one box, how mm-hmm. uh, what number would you reach your school experience in a scale of on scale of one to ten? Is it for the two schools? Mm. Because you had different experiences there. Okay, for the two schools, for Puliba, I'll just say that four or five over ten. Mm-hmm. Then for Puta, I'll just say eight over ten. You really had the life of your head in Puta. <laughs> <laughs> you diarrhea in your own time. Ah, no, no, no. Actually, the reason why I would just put Puta eight over ten, God just broke a lot of people that really helped me. No, that was when that would be the first official time I'm going to read the scripture, the Bible. Mm. From Genesis to Revelation, oh, really? Like twice. So that I said, it totally helped me spiritually. That I said, only Bado helped my social economical life, but Futa helped my academic slash my spiritual. So they all have actually, only Bado is not as a bad school. Everyone, I just have my experiences. It's like you said, it's my own. So my own experience, then what that was what I had, but Futa gave me what I actually need for life. Because this life itself is spiritual, so you just you just really need to be spiritual in order to even academic is spiritual. Because I can remember before seeing my results, my hundred level, I saw the grade even in my dream. Mm. Before it came up in the reality, and eventually it came out to be the same thing. So you saw what you would for yes. your dream. I do. In fact, I had the opportunity once to see Western paper in my dream. That's fresh. Yes, I'm not lying. I so saw you saw the question is doing exactly, and it was exactly. So it's just because I said it really helped me shape my life, and so that is part of the this thing I can really say that today my me, that is part of the making of me. I'm not saying only bad is not it. Only bad is part of the thing that made my social life to to still be social. Mm, it was probably something that also shapes the way you the way you carry yourself and face life when you go to Futa. So you say you said that Holy Bado was like a climbing rock. Exactly, it is. It is. I will not find it is. It is because it's also make me to understand like you know at times you might just be too spiritual and there's some basic things you need to know and you believe in the kind of sadist life. Mm-hmm. Me as I'm like this, even currently like this, if I just want to go to one thing, if like say that I'm vaccinated, that's one business. I just go to one bar like that. So no, you still you still giggle. No, I don't. They both are fine. They both are fine. <laughs> you don't get great No, but I, I know I can take Okobi. Okobi is no Okobi is no alcohol now. What no, do you no, mean? No, I don't do alcohol. Eh? Eh, when, when I when I say giggle, what do you I know. Think I'm talking about? I know. So you know, you know, you know. It's like you're not trying I to. I know. Go last time, you no, know, like I said, the last time I did that was on two thousand and um. There was no lie. Two thousand and eleven. That's, that's such a long time ago. That was the last time I tasted whether palm oil, palm canel, palm palm oil, palm whether, palm wine. Whether, no, I'm saying, whether palm oil, palm canel, palm wine, palm anything, even to the extent of beer or anything. With palm oil, you know, I mean, that's just like the sarcasm. Oh, of course, it's a sarcasm. Okay, I'm sorry, sarcastic. Sarcastic. I can't understand. <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic anyway. Okay. So, what advice would you have for? students in school that, that that don't know if they should focus on education or enjoy life or that they know what they want but these two things are being thrown at them like full flesh and they don't know how to unnest themselves within it please read <laughs> please try to focus on um, education you know the what system to do with their education is a scam please education is not a scam if you want to get job today of course, your education qualification is so paramount. Hmm. 
And the, the, the world system today now are not looking for those that are average. They're looking for the best. As of yesterday, I still saw a kind of, oh, sorry, early this morning on Twitter, I still saw a kind of a guy that was like, he was looking for 20 students in Waheg that had all A's, that they want to have a kind of scholarship for them. I saw a lot of people sending their children results. And, mm. Exactly. So who knows, maybe probably where the, the scholarship, and I saw that they said they might have the opportunity of being in MIT. Wow. Exactly. So I know that's not a small school. It's not a small school. Exactly. So at times you don't know, like when I got my job, my education, do you know educational um, qualification also help your level in civil servant and public yes, servant? Yes, exactly. So imagine you are saying education, education is for us for at home. I would not be able, maybe I'll be in probably level four or five. Mm -hmm. So you'll be earning it on, you'll not be fighting that. So what level are you now? No, my sister. I should leave the level that you're in. Don't worry, we'll not count your money. I'll be, I'll be going to count our money. No, not, don't worry about the level. Just listen to the advice. Thank you. <laughs> like, so please, I'll just say that education is not a scam. Try to focus on your education and try to balance everything. Yes, education, education, education. Of course, I love education. But of course, not everybody too that their head will go through school. Discover yourself. There are some people that are skillful in crafts, in arts. Try to know who you are. The first thing is just discover yourself. Discover who you are. Know what you love doing the most. Some people love cooking. Exhibit it. If you talk like myself, exhibit it. Go and learn public speaking. Go and do a lot of things. So there are a lot of things you can exhibit. So please focus on education if you love education. If you don't like education, you know we are way way. Please look for that thing. That look you for that career well. work that you can do. There are a lot of people that are doing very well, even than people in the office that they are doing their career, facing their career. If, are, if you are good in make it, make it neat. If you are good at discussing, discuss wisely, because you don't know the discussion you will speak. I'll take you to the top. Mm. So anything you do, just ensure that you put in your best. You know, one of the scriptures, oh, pardon me, you know, the scripture says, let everything be done in an orderly manner. Mm -hmm. So everything you do, just ensure that you are doing it at your best. And I see you rising again. <laughs> Thank you so very much. That was a very insightful one. You have heard it. It is okay for you to be social, but remember that you are in school for academic. When it's time for social, take a little bit of it, but do not lose sight of why you are going to school. Education is not a scam. And studying hard and getting good grades will open some certain doors for you that you don't even think that are there. Well, anyway, thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Thank you so much for coming. Thank We're you. really happy that you're here with us. Do not forget that if you'd like to be a guest on the show, send us an email on the email showing on your screen, and you might be the person sitting next to me when next. My name is Just Kudi. Do not forget to like, subscribe, to comment, and to share. Till we meet again. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>